can community batteries provide support through power resilience for their households or is that outside of the scope of what these are trying to achieve? If you look at the, the bulk of the community scale batteries and arguably network batteries rather than community batteries, uh, they're being implemented by the distributors, the DNSPs, and they, they are implementing them in what's called a, a solar soaker mode. That is, it's operating the network, it's absorbing that excess in the middle of the day, which is, if you like, frying the network because it's adding there's so much energy in the network, it's setting dangerous levels in the network, and then time shifting that energy is captured to the end of the day when it's in demand. That's called arbitrage, and that arbitrage effectively happens through price signals. In the middle of the day, price of electricity is cheap, sometimes negative. At the end of the day, of course, it's much higher because it's in demand. And they are doing that largely because it has a material impact on their network. It's saving them investing in more poles, wires, capacitors, whatever else. So it has a, a fundamental impact on the network. It's a benefit to the network, which therefore adds resilience to the network. 